Brace the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? GTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello guys, this is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'll basically be showing you guys how to install custom themes. Um, by using uh, Custom Themes Manager, which is a VPK, and also Vita Shell. Um, with that being said, as long as you have a PlayStation Vita that's within um, 3.63, uh, 3.65, or 3.68, or even even in between like 3.63, running Hancock or Hancock or Enzo, H on Court, you could do this method. Um, it's just a little cool method that I thought some people would like, you know, to make their Vita have some style to it. Um, I was just testing this earlier and my recording messed up so that's why I'm just you see this random theme that I have now but essentially uh, the first step once you even have a uh, Vita shell already running go ahead and hit Vita shell and then either choose either if you want to FTP or USB to your PC in this case for me I'm going to just FTP so I'm gonna hit start select if you're using USB just do that method go ahead and run filezilla which is a ftp client which i highly recommend or you can use any ftp client doesn't matter go ahead into this uh or type me ip so mine's is this right here and then type in a port and then mine's already probably already prompted up so yeah what you want to go to now is ux0 and i'll show you how to get there so it should look like this once you first boot it up go into ux0 and then drag and drop the uh, CT Manager VPK. Everything in the description below, or any files I use in any of my videos, will be in the description below. So all you would have to do is drag and drop. In this case, I'm not going to do that since I already installed it. So I'm going to exit out of FileZilla. And then from there, <clears throat> what you want to do is let me go ahead and show you guys through Vita. What you want to do is go ahead and install the VBK so go to UX0 find where the VBK is at I keep all my VBKs in a folder so you basically once you drag and drop it'll probably be in the main UX0 directory and probably all the way at the bottom or something so my I will say CT manager go ahead and click X on the VBK it may take like you know 15 to 30 seconds depending on how fast your Vita wants to install it but in this case since I already installed it like uh a couple of times it shouldn't take too long so as you see on my screen it's 99 percent so let me back out um once you have it you should have this uh custom theme manager already onto your live area so once you have that go ahead and click the app and run it like any other video game or homebrew and then um you'll get this menu and from this menu oh also have your internet connection running on your vita so basically because due to the fact uh the themes are downloaded off a server and basically uh, the server needs to connect to your Vita in order to basically install the themes initially but you could also back up the theme so for example here you can apply an installed theme uh, you could download and install new custom themes from the online repository so that's why you need your Wi-Fi on uh, install a custom theme from a local folder so let's say in the UX0 you made a folder called uh, I don't know Nagato's themes or whatever whatever your name is or just put themes in there uh, you could just put all your themes in there and it could just install straight from the folder they have an option where you can uninstall a custom theme uh, let's see they have a one that you could dump official themes so for example the ones in the PSN store let's say you bought one on PSN and you want to dump it for you know to give it to a friend or just you know safekeeping um that's another method uh, check line online for repositories for new versions so basically if there's any like you know update for that that's how you basically check online for it uh, default partition for use custom theme installation. So if you use an SD to Vita memory card or USB, I think that's for PSTV users. And also, yeah, this works for PSTV. And then the last option is to catch and uh, back up the database for management. So basically, if you want to back this up uh, to your, you know, the database, so you don't have to always have online to install themes, that's a useful method. But what you want to go do is click the second option and basically and choose a theme of your choice so if you press or R and then just toggle over depending on your Vita or whatnot um, it may take a while since it will probably load um, from the server 
I've already loaded the, like the first four screens, so that's why I was pretty going fast. But like the fifth one I'm doing now, it took a while. But the way how you install a theme, once you choose to your liking, I'm just gonna pick a random one. So, um, I think that's one kind of cool. So from here, uh, what you want to do now is click X to install the theme. You can also hit L or R to basically uh, preview the images. So what it's doing now is trying to give a preview. So right now, press X, and then it's going to pop up a second screen once uh, the custom theme has basically extracted from the zip file. So once it does that, um, you want to go ahead and click Start or a circle if you made a mistake and don't want this theme. So I'll tell you like the provider, uh, the style of theme, and what version it is. So from there, it's installed properly. What you want to do now is go back out to settings on your Vita. It's not going to show on OBS. But once you go to your settings, like normal, go ahead and scroll all the way down to you want to say theme and background. Um, then you want to go ahead and click theme. And then you're going to install your theme. And then I'll boot my Vita so y'all can see. So clearly, I've changed my theme. And then I'll go back to my live area. And as you see, my theme is different. So that's one way on how to install custom themes using Vita Shell. If you like this video and any of all my other videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, and hit that notification button too. Um, so you know when I'll be updating latest videos. I'll be trying to update a lot of videos um, soon. Try to get one out every day if I can. If not, um, probably every at least every week, most definitely I'll have videos out. But since I'm getting the capture card literally tomorrow, I'm going to get that set up so I can make more tutorials for y'all guys. Um, with that being said, my name is Nakato and I'm signing out. Thank you once again.